Aloha, everyone. It is Pili Rusi today, and I have huge news. The Multifamily Live podcast is back, and we just announced the dates for our Multifamily Live 2024. We've been holding this massive event for the last three years, and I'm talking massive three-day event to help people make the leap into multifamily real estate investing and to give current multifamily investors the chance to plug into new market insights, to new strategies, networking opportunities, and so much more. This year, though, Multifamily Live is going to be a little different. It is going to be focused on generational wealth with major emphasis too, with major emphasis on acquisitions and finding the right properties for long-term equity growth and massive passive income. And three, this year is going to be totally virtual, which means no travel time, no hotel expenses, no extra days off of work, easy access to participate in the full experience without leaving your home. This year, Multifamily Live is happening May 9th through the 11th. And the price to attend the event is going to eventually be $500 or more. It's worth it. But if you jump in now, right now we're giving our podcast listeners an early bird access for just $197. So jump in now, come be a part of Multifamily Live, and I'll see you in the next episode. Aloha. Aloha, everyone, and welcome back to Multifamily Live. It is an exciting and a blessed and a beautiful day today, and I hope you are enjoying yourself. So today we are going to talk about diversification, and there is many ways to diversify your portfolio, but what I want to actually dive into really is the diversification of your studies. If you are just getting into real estate, and for those who are already in it, stick with me. I'm going to dive into some beginning tactics first. So if you are just getting into real estate, I implore you to use YouTube. If you are on, if you're loving podcasts, listen to my podcast, listen to some, listen to seven figure flipping podcasts, listen to other podcasts that do other types of real estate and really absorb it. Take a couple of months to absorb the information. But what you got to do is you have to choose at some point. Let me reiterate that a little bit. Diversify your, your education so that you can correctly choose the path or take the jump into the path that you are most suited for. Are you more suited for flipping? Are you more suited for wholesaling? Can you do both? Should you jump into multifamily? Should you get your real estate license? And I know that you are being bombarded by all these questions and everyone's trying to give you the answer. But what I'm going to do is I'm not going to give you the answer actually, because I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know your intelligence. I don't know your education. I don't know your drive. And I don't know what you you have going for you. It's the same thing that I need to not, I need to understand when I'm talking to any investors. I have to understand your financial capability, um, where you are in life. Do you have kids? Are you single? What is happening within your life right now that makes that certain type of real estate good for you? So the reason why I chose multifamily is because it was the next level in mine and my husband Jason's story. So we started, at, he, he started in the construction business with his family. I got my real estate license. We used the construction business to get into flipping. We saw the money in wholesaling because we had all these deals coming at us and we didn't know what to do with them. So why not wholesale them? So we learned how to do that. And then in 2015, we discovered multifamily. I'm kind of glossing through the entire story, and maybe I'll take another podcast to reiterate that story. We've told it before. Go back into a couple of podcasts um, in the past. But what you really should know about this story is that this was the next level. And as we leveled up, we let go of these businesses. I know a lot of great people that can keep these other real estate businesses going as they're, let it, as they're leveling up. 
that wasn't mine and Jason's story. So we found multifamily because it had everything we wanted within one type of real estate. We found the diversification we needed within this one type of real estate. We could do it actively. We could invest passively and we have the knowledge to invest in our friends deals and other people that are doing this. We also still invest passively in flipping and wholesaling, but I get beyond the point. So the reason why multifamily worked for us is because it was that level up. We were allowed to get our time back while still being active within real estate. We want to be active within real estate. This is our job. This is what we do. This is real estate is what we know and we know how to do it well and we know how to buy it right. And we have done this for many years now. We don't want to be complex completely passive. We want to have that control. Now on the passive side, you can still have control in so as much as what you invest in. So if you're looking to passively invest, if you're looking to diversify your portfolio, now let's jump into portfolio diversification. So I'm going, I'm going a little quick. If I, if I am going too quick, then rewind a little bit and slow it down. Anywho. So we talked about the diversification of your education. Look at everything, but don't take too long to choose. If you choose multifamily or at the point that you decide to choose multifamily, then dive deeper into that and stay there. What you need to do is focus right there. So yes, there should be some diversification, but once you get all that diversification of your education, remember, I'm not talking about your portfolio yet, of your education, jump in and learn it to the best of your ability. Learn it, learn how to underwrite, learn how to find the deal. Learn, And this is even if you're seeking to passively invest, you want to know exactly what you're investing in, don't you? You want to do your due diligence. So do your due diligence by learning how to actually do it. Once you do, dive in. Once you do, invest the capital you have or invest the time that you have to learn how to do it. Now, diversification of your portfolio. The reason why multifamily is such a great way to diversify your portfolio is because it's a long-term investment. And it has been historically proven in, since the past, in the past to now to have a really good, stabilized, long-term investment. Now, I'm not saying go sell all your stocks and bonds. I'm not saying get out of house flipping. I'm not saying any of that. What I am saying is that you shouldn't put all your funds, all your capital into one basket. For a long time, I had these conversations with those who were in the crypto and NFT world because people there were losing their life savings because they were going all in on a very, 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 very unstabilized asset. The thing is you need to look at your risk profile. Can you afford to lose this capital? And this is with any sort of investment. This is another reason why diversification is so very important. Look for those, those unicorns, those investments that could be huge windfalls and put your capital in there with the knowledge that you might not get that capital back. It's the same thing with real estate. Put your capital in real estate, but really dive in and see, hey, is this a safer investment? And I would say nine times out of 10, it is. Now, this is not, I'm not guaranteeing any sort of return on investment, never guaranteeing. And I should say, check with your attorney, check with your, check with your CPA before you jump into any huge financial decision. But you really have to take a look at your risk profile. Can you afford the investment? And can you afford, is that thousand dollars if you're jumping into a smaller investment is that hundred thousand dollars is that million dollars is that money that you can afford to lose what is the quote guarantee that you'll see that money back and if anybody does guarantee you any sort of funds back they can't 
there is absolutely positively no way that they could ever guarantee that you will get that capital back because they do not have a crystal ball. They cannot tell you what the market is absolutely going to do into the future. Now I'm getting off ta on a tangent. We're talking about diversification. Again, if you have the wherewithal and if you have the funds, put really take a look at what you have and put into different types of vehicles of investment. So this is Pili Arusi. I'm here with Multifamily Live. I'm really, really excited. We are, we are gearing up for our Multifamily Live Financial Freedom, Freedom Conference. And I am excited for you to join us. If you liked what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, tap on all the buttons, go to our website, take a look at what we're talking about when we're talking about Multifamily Live, and we will see you there. So much love, so much aloha, so much grace, so much peace, so much blessings, all the good stuff in your day, all there for you. All you got to do is reach out, grab it, and take it to the next level. Take action, and I will talk to you later. Aloha.